Hello, my name is Matt Gracie, and I'm an engineer on the professional services team at Security Onion Solutions. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating a preview release of Detections, a new module in the Security Onion console that will be available soon in version 2.4.70. Detections is a one-stop shop for all the various rules that your Security Onion installation uses to alert on suspicious or malicious activity in your environment and a huge step forward in making these rules more easily implemented or tuned to reduce false positives and analyst fatigue. Keep in mind that this is a development version of detections that I'm going to be showing you, so there might be some minor changes before the final release, but it should be very similar. We'll start with a summary of the current state of Security Onion, what rules are handled where, and then get into how detections makes this simpler and easier for your analysts going forward. There are three main sets of detection rules in Security Onion, which each alert on different types of indicators. The first are the Suricata rules that act as signatures for the Network IDS component. For most users, these rules come from the Emerging Threats Open rule set, but some deployments use ET Pro rules instead, or sometimes custom rules generated from threat intelligence feeds. Tuning these rules has always been a manual process. In the current version of 2.4, rules can be disabled or modified using the configuration interface under administration, but adding suppression or threshold directives requires writing YAML and then applying it to a specific signature ID. Sigma rules search the logs collected in the platform for particular signifiers or patterns. Those have been handled through the playbook tool in the past, which is not as tightly integrated into the security on your console as we would like. With the easy log collection provided by the Elastic Agent in 2.4, it's imperative that we have a better way of writing and tuning these rules to take advantage of this telemetry. Finally, Yara rules are leveraged by Strelka to evaluate files that are captured from plain text network flows. These are probably the most opaque of the rule sets. By default, we ship with the rules from Florian Roth's signature base GitHub repo, but adding or tuning these rules is a command line process that requires direct access to the Security Onion Manager. With detections, we're taking these three disparate rule sets and putting them all in one place for easy evaluation and tuning. Let's take a look. As always, we log into the Security Onion console with the username and password that we established during installation. You'll notice on the left-hand side of the screen, we've now got a new tool listed, Detections. Let's open that up and take a look. You'll notice that the interface looks similar to Hunt, Cases, Alerts, and other components in the Security Onion console. There's an Options menu here at the top with some more advanced options, and then a Query box with a drop-down menu. That drop-down menu contains the different classes of rules. For example, if I want to see just the currently available Sigma rules, I can click on Detection Type Sigma and see them. For more details on a particular rule, I can click on this binoculars icon. This brings us into a tabbed interface with specific information about this rule. Here on the Overview tab, there's information about the rule, including a summary, references, and the actual Sigma detection logic that's been extracted from the rule itself. The next tab, Operational Notes, allows analysts to enter notes about this detection, how it's been tuned, and its efficacy in our environment. This is fully Markdown compliant, so the formatting can be easily matched to your documentation standards. Detection Source shows us the raw Sigma rule that was downloaded from the repository. Finally, Tuning gives us an interface for modifying the rule's behavior in our environment. This interface is specific to the type of rule. Since we're looking at a Sigma rule right now, the only modification available is a custom filter that would be added to the detection logic. There's also a History tab here that provides an audit trail so you can track changes that have been made to this rule. So, Detections gives us a unified interface for seeing all of the different rules in the environment, which is very handy, but there's more functionality to see. Let's start with an alert. If you've deployed Security Onion on an enterprise network before, you're no doubt aware that tuning all of these Suricata rules is a high priority task. We've exposed that functionality directly from the alerts pane with a new pivot. For example, let's look at this SNMP traffic alert. Clicking on the rule name and then tune detection will bring us directly to this rules tuning tab in the detections module. If we decide that this rule is not helpful for our environment at all, 
We can disable it by clicking on this slider under Operations on the right-hand side of the screen. Turning this off will disable the rule. If we need to do some more fine-grained tuning, for example, if we want to suppress SNMP alerts coming from a particular IP because it's expected traffic from a network management console, we can do that with the Tuning tab. Just click on the plus sign here to add a new tuning parameter, then suppress by source IP, put in the IP address that we want to suppress alerts from. When we click create, the tuning will take effect at the next high state, so within the next 15 minutes. Tuning most Suricata rules no longer requires finding the SID, going into configuration, and manually making changes. This workflow is much simpler and will empower your analysts to tune rules quickly and easily for your environment. Finally, detections will allow easy deployment of new custom rules as well. For example, let's say there's a new threat actor report that contains a Yara rule for spotting a particular indicator of compromise. If you want to put that Yara rule into production in your environment, you can just click on this plus sign to add a rule, select Yara from the language dropdown, put in a license, and then paste the signature. When you hit create, it will be pushed to your sensors with the next high state, and then any file that Zeek extracts from network traffic will be tested with Strelka, raising alerts when there's a hit. The process for adding Suricata or Sigma rules is exactly the same. Just input them into the web interface, and they're pushed out to your grid almost immediately. We're really excited about detections. We think this is going to be a big leap forward in terms of making detection engineering and tuning more streamlined and accessible to our users. This will debut in the free and open Security Onion platform in 2.4.70, so make sure you follow our blog and our social media accounts so you know when to update. If you have questions about rule handling or the platform that were not covered in this video, please check out our documentation at securityonion.com docs. If you're interested in our training options, learn more at securityonion.com training. And finally, if you have other questions or feedback about detections or Security Onion as a whole, please start a new thread on our community discussion forum at securityonion.com discuss. Thanks so much for your time and have a great day.